called Ghostbusters. And it's got 2,352 pieces and is recommended for ages 18 and up. And Kevin's only 5, so you're 13 years too young. So that is going to help you build this set, okay Kevin? Okay. So this is the Ghostbuster vehicle from the upcoming movie Ghostbuster Afterlife, set to release this year. So this is in the Echo 1 from the original movies that came out in 1984, which was the year that I was born, Kevin. Yeah! The Ghostbuster vehicle is made from a 1959 Cadillac Ambulance Miller Meter. What's cool about this movie, it was filmed in Alberta, Canada, in Drumheller, which is about three hours from us. This area is super famous for what, Kevin? And their dinosaur museum. Kevin's actually been there. So let's take a look at the front of the box. It's all black and it's highlighted with a nice picture of the Ecto-1. My favorite is the logo and, and the Gizmos on top. Which one's your favorite? Uh, I like the fact that it's got some of the rust here on the front of the vehicle showing that it is old. So let's take a look at the back. So on the back of the box we can see a nice highlighted rear facing picture of the Ecto-1. So for the dimensions of the Ecto-1, it is 47 centimeters or 18.5 inches long and 22 centimeters and 8.5 inches high. So on the back of the box here, you can see that there is a gunner seat included in this vehicle. Gunner seats were very popular back in the 1980s and 90s when we were kids. Every toy vehicle had one of them. So this one has one. It also has a mini ghost trap. But it's a little bit different. The mini ghost trap has got wheels on it. So it must be something new from the movie. Whoa, what ghost traps? Right here. You see oh. it? And then down here at the bottom here, you can see uh, one of the characters riding in the gunner seat. So that's pretty cool. And then at the very bottom here, you can see the Ecto-1 in the background of actually Drum Heller. Let's open up this bedroom and see what's inside. Bag 12, bag 4, Let's take a look at the book, guys. Here's the instruction manual for the Ecto-1. It's got a nice picture of the Ecto-1 on the front. And it's got a nice picture of the Ghostbuster logo on the back. Got some cool pictures and some scratching on the inside. Yeah. But Let's build this bad boy.
collector one! Isn't it cool? So let's go over some of the features. Well, first of all, you guys notice that there's blinking lights. The actual Lego doesn't come with these blinking lights. I actually bought the Lego lighting kit from Bricks Max. That's why you can see these lightings here. So let's check out some of the features of this awesome Ecto-1. So as you can see, if I move the vehicle, the top here moves back and forth by itself. What is that called, Kevin? The ghost radar check if there's any ghosts. Yes. So what's also cool about this Ecto-1 is there's a back, back door, door that, that you can open up. And if you pull the back lever, and it has a ghost busted trap inside. Also on this Ecto-1, there's two doors on this side that can open up. And guys, if you put the lights on, there's actually teeny tiny lights in the Ecto-1, and it's actually the lights turn on. You can see inside there's a very detailed dash, there's a steering wheel. Do you know what turns the steering wheel, Kevin? You can come up here and twist this knob and it actually turns the wheels. And also it turns the steering wheels on the inside. Like the cars like ours. The gun. Show the kids the gunner. So if you open up this door here and push a button on this one side. It's the gunner. It's the gunner seat. And you can also take the backpack off. And to put it back in, you just have to push it and turn it a little bit. Yeah. And it goes back in just like that. So I use this as I use that um, like, as the injection table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he likes using it as an injection. Also, if you look at the front here, if you want to look inside, you can pop the hood. You can see the engine on the inside. And, and there's even a glowing light on the inside. Isn't that cool, and Kevin? And if one has a light, then you got to fix it. Second oh, we didn't, you got to show them the other side. Oh, yeah. Let's rotate it around. So guys, this is the other side of the vehicle. And guys, this is like juice suckers straws and there's like a ladder cool and ladder. there's a ladder on the car and like a cool ladder and gas so as you can see on top of here we have a bunch of gizmos here what's the coolest part about the brick smack lighting it's the siren lights you can make them blink or you can make them just Turn still off. just still and when you do this go back to blinking again so here on the back, we have two blue lights that light up and also the tail lights that light up. Pretty cool, right, Kevin? Guys, if I have a green sweater, I'm not going to do you like, yikes! Also on the car, there's three logos. There's one on this, on the driver's side. There's one on the passenger side and one right on the back door, ah. which is, I think, is the coolest part, right? It also comes with this Stay Puff Marshmallows and it will use it for if, you catch, if they catch one ghost. And you can just put it in the front seat here for a snack. For a snack? No. So I hope you guys like our review of Lego's Ghostbuster Echo 1. It took us about 11 hours to build this and another 3 hours for me to install the lighting. If you watch this review, give it a thumbs up and it will do more. Hope you guys like the video. Please subscribe, give it a thumbs up. See you got more game adventures. Bye! Bye. Wee you, wee you, go!